The CDC is urging vaccinations as time is running out. I'll be breaking down the details of what the CDC is recommending, what they want us to get vaccinated for, and a popular government program that is coming back because it is getting so incredibly bad right now. I have the details for you here in the video. Let's jump right into it. Can I ask a huge favor of you before we do? If you have not done so, please make sure to like the video with the big thumbs up button right down below the video. Thank you so much. Also, make sure to subscribe as long as you're down there as well. Thank you. Really appreciate your support. And let's talk through the details. All right. So we're entering into a time of year right now as we approach the fourth quarter of the year when a lot of us are spending a lot more time indoors with more people, maybe family gatherings, and the temperatures are getting a lot cooler. Therefore, we're spending more time inside with more people. Therefore, a lot more conditions are spreading. So the CDC is coming forward and recommending that we all step up and get vaccinated yet again. So that is what I want to bring to your attention. Also, in just a second here, I'm going to bring you this new government program that is coming back yet again, one more time here. And this will be available in September here that I do want to bring to your attention because this has been a popular thing and they're bringing it back because it's getting so incredibly bad right now. But as you can see here, Right now, they are recommending that people step up and get vaccinated for a variety of different things, including COVID, flu shots, and maybe even RSV, especially for those people that are at higher risk. Right now, they're expecting another flu season very similar to what we went through last season as well. Now, here's another situation that's going on right now. COVID is really going on strong right now. It is spreading rapidly across many of the different states. We've been seeing the highest case counts that we've seen in a couple of years that we're experiencing literally right now as we speak. I mean, here's the thing. Do you know anybody right now or over the last couple of weeks that has uh, contracted COVID? I can count right now like eight people that I personally know right now that have COVID. I mean, weird situation, right? <laughs> so that's literally right now as we speak. And if I look back over the last month or so, I can count way more than that people that I personally know that have had COVID. So it's certainly spreading pretty rapidly right now. And they're suggesting that we get out there and get vaccinated for all, uh, from all of this. Now, here's another situation as well. Just the other day, they announced a new COVID vaccine. Yet again, another one that apparently is going to cover all of these new variants that are out there now. I'm not even sure how many variants there are anymore, right? Kind of lost track of all those, kind of lost count as there have been so many over the last several years here, but we're on multiple different variants and they're suggesting that these new vaccines are probably good for the latest variants that are now spreading out there. And then of course, they want us to get um, you know, flu vaccines as well. Uh, when we get into this kind of September, October timeframe, that is when they recommend is probably the best time to get this as we kind of enter in, like I said, right around that fourth quarter of the year kind of right before the holiday season is what they're all recommending here, okay? Now, that is what they're suggesting. Now, next, I want to point out this government program that is coming back, okay? This is a program that's been out there off and on for the last several years here, and they're bringing it back again. This is kind of surprising. I didn't think we were going to see this again, but here we are. Free government at-home COVID tests, okay? So here you go. They are uh, bringing this back. They're gonna be available in September. So what they're doing is they're bringing it back on the HHS website, which is the Health and Human Services website. Uh, the website, by the way, is covidtest.gov. Covidtest.gov is the website. And starting uh, in what I found was in late September, we can go on there and we can order four COVID tests per household 100% for free yet again. What's interesting about this, they've already distributed nearly a billion COVID tests for free over the last couple of years through this program. In fact, they said 900 million COVID tests have been distributed as a result of this program just in the last handful of years here. So it's a lot, almost a billion tests <laughs> that have gone out. That's nuts, right? So if you want some at-home COVID tests, 100% for free, no, you don't need to pay for them. Uh, this program will be coming back. I didn't exactly see a different, I, uh, I didn't see a specific timeline as far as a specific date in which these would be available. I did see in multiple different sources as I was doing research on this, they said late September. Okay, is late September like the 20th? Is it like the 29th? Is it the 30th? Like what is late September? I don't know. It's all different for everybody, right? We all have our own perspective on what late September is, but they just continue to say late September. So, you know, we have a little bit of time here. I can certainly keep you posted on that as I find more information, but they did say late September they'd be available and apparently these tests will be good through the end of the year. So I'm not sure if they're going to have like a use by date, you know, by the end of the year, what they mean by that. But I would anticipate probably have like a three month light, uh, uh, shelf life, something like that. 
according to what they're saying on this and uh, what I've been reading. So there you go. In other words, it's getting to the point now that COVID is getting so bad yet again uh, with all these different variants and all the different things that are going on that they're basically saying, hey, we're going to start this program again and give all these free COVID tests. So interesting that we're going through this. Not only that, have you seen some of the other situations that are going on globally, like MPOX, otherwise known as monkeypox? Um, that was the former name of the of this condition, but that's spreading rapidly over in African countries. Uh, there's some cases in uh, European countries as well. That one's out there as well. So yeah, a lot of weird things that are happening right now, but um, this is the new situation that we're in right now. And uh, I wanna bring that to your attention. Now, one more thing I wanna bring up really fast here as well. I've seen this down below in the comment section just a couple times, not many times at all on previous videos, but I wanna throw this out there really fast. And I've been reading this in the headlines as well. Some people are wondering, hey, is this MPOX thing? Is that the new COVID? No, it's not, not even close, okay? It's not, a, from what I've been reading about it and from my understanding of it, no. It, uh, COVID and MPOX are not nearly the same thing. In fact, this is kind of um, interesting, but apparently symptoms of uh, MPOX are blistering rash. That's nothing to do with COVID, right? <laughs> so sounds really unpleasant. I'm just saying, okay, D does not sound like a pleasant thing to have, uh, but that's what's going on. And um, mostly in African countries right now, there are a few other countries out there that also have have this, but that's mostly where it's being found at the moment. Who knows? That could change pretty rapidly here as well. Either way, I want to bring this to your attention really quickly. So I'll keep you posted on any further details on those free COVID tests that will be coming out here. Um, as I get information on that, obviously I will let you know right away. Otherwise, yeah, I'll keep you posted on anything else out there. Again, please uh, subscribe to the channel down below. Totally 100% free to do so with the big subscribe button. Share this video with your friends on your social media. Again, big share button down below. Otherwise, hit the like button down there. Again, big old thumbs up. Thank you. Really, really appreciate that. And uh, check out the other videos here on the channel. There are thousands and thousands in the video library. Nearly 5,000 videos I have here on the channel. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Otherwise, the down below in the description or the top of the comment section, I have some videos there. Check out those. And uh, right now, showing up on your screen as well, you'll see some videos. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support and I'll catch you again later in the next video. Oh.